Hello friends, welcome to my admin role and permission course with uh, Laravel. This uh, course is not for beginners, so you need to know the Laravel, how it's going to work. What you are going to learn here is how we can create the admin area, how we can create roles and permissions. We have two projects here. The first one, we have named it, I have named it uh, Udemy 1 and the second Udemy 2. Now in the Udemy 1, we have only the admin and the users. So if the user who logged in is admin, can navigate in the admin area. So let's log in here as admin, admin at admin.com and add the password. Now, because we are admin here, we can see we have this link to go the admin if we click we navigate in the admin dashboard which is the Tailwind CSS dashboard is with Alpine.js and is responsive so if we click here it's going to open that and also close that okay so it's responsive and that's it for the you can add here your logic now if the user is not admin so let's log out and i'm going to log in as a test user now we can see we don't have now the link to go to the admin because we are as a test user but if we navigate manually so that the admin we have the 403 forbidden here Okay, that's it for the first project. We have the simple one, just the user and the admin. Now in the second one, Udemy 2, here we have also roles and permissions. So let's log in as admin here. And the first thing we see, we have this link here, the same as in the first project. But if we go now to the admin, here we have roles permissions and users now if we go to the user we can see the id of the user the name and the role what role has this user in this case the name of the user is author and also the role is author we can edit here edit the name the email and also change the role for this user because we are admin if we go to the roles here we have two roles the user role and the author we don't see the admin role here because i don't want the uh, because if you go in the database and go in the udemy 2 open here we have three roles, user, admin, and author. But I just displayed the user and author because the admin, if we change the admin, modify the admin here, is going to break this uh, middleware. So for that, I just have the user and author. Now we can edit, we can create a new role as well. So let's say, test the role and yeah we have the banner here to show the message new role added here we have the role now this role don't does not have the permission so we see no permissions here if we go and edit that role we can give it the permission so here we have permissions and let's select this permission assign this permission and now we can see that permission here permissions let's add one more permission to this one assign permission we say here permission added and we can see the permission this role has we can remove also the permission if you want and now we have only one let's go back and we can see now we have the permission here the user does not have permissions also we can delete the permission so let's delete this click ok and yeah we deleted that permission 
not row, sorry. Now, if we go to permission, the same thing, we can, we can create new permission. Uh, let's say test also here. Create that permission, here we have edit and delete. So let's say test updated and we can delete also. We have the banner here and let's delete. Okay, now how, this is how we can create roles and permissions. Now for this project also I have created the some fake posts. So if I navigate in the Udemy to posts, here I listed all the posts in this table. We have a link here to go and create a new post and we have the edit and delete buttons. Now I have created the policy for posts and we can authorize the user to see or hide this post and also the, the create or not a new post. The same thing for the edit and delete. We in the policy we authorized the user based on the permission this user has. So the user has the role. Author and the author has these permissions. So based on these permissions, this user can see or can not see the links here and also cannot update or delete or create a new post. So for that, here we are logged in as admin. In the Brave browser, I'm going to log in as uh, author user. Okay, so here we have this author user. And now this author has the role author and this role has the create, update and delete post permissions. So let's log in here as author. Author at test.com and I'm going to add the password. Okay. Now of course, this user does not see that the admin and if we navigate in the admin, we have four or three forbidden. Now, if we go in the post, right now, this user can see the link to go and create new post, can edit and delete. So if we navigate also here, yeah, we can navigate there because has the permissions or create, update and delete posts. Now let's, uh, I'm going to remove permissions from this author role. So let's remove only the delete post permission. And now this author role has only the create post and update post. Okay. If I come here and refresh, now we can see we, the user does not see that delete button because we removed the permission here. Now if I also removed the update and come here and refresh, the user does not see that edit. And the same thing if we remove the create and refresh now the user does not see that create button. And of course, if we navigate to the create, we don't have the permissions for to this to see this post of this uh, create blade. So let's give it back the permissions assign and come here and refresh. Yeah, we can see. And also if I refresh here, we can see the new button and edit and delete. Okay, friends, that's it. I just created this policy to show you how you can use the permissions with the policy. And one more thing I want to show you also is I have created this uh, blade, custom blade directive admin and show that link. So if we go to the dashboard, we have this link here and we show that if the user is admin 
and we say here if not if but just say admin here and and admin okay you can create many custom blade directives but i just created this one for the admin okay friends so that's it about this course i hope you enjoy and see you in the youtube channel all the best friends thank you very much